Recently, I've been really interested in the idea of technology and agriculture intertwining, two vastly different fields, yet they fit together so well. What I have to share with you today has been captivating my mind for the past few months because it's relatively new and extremely intriguing. So what is it? Well, what I've been interested in is known as variable rate technology, and my fascination began when my school's FFA chapter bought our new farm bot. This farm bot is a type of variable rate technology that will garden for us. It will analyze the amount of water and fertilizers plants need and then apply those recommended amounts. To me, that's pretty interesting. But what you may be asking is what exactly is this variable rate technology? According to the article from the Alabama Cooperative Extension System, variable rate technology, or VRT, is any technology that enables the variable applications of inputs. Although variable rate technology can make automatic and real-time decisions, what really makes variable rate technology stick out is its potential to reduce input usage and environmental impacts while increasing the efficiency and economic profits of farm management. As the population of the world increases to 9.6 billion people by the year 2050, the usage of VRT in agriculture is vital. First, I want to analyze the usage of variable rate technology, and then I'll move into discussing how society should adopt VRT. One notable company exemplifies VRT's benefits, Blue River Technology. Blue River started out as a common idea among a small group of Stanford graduates, but it's recently grown into much more than that. Today, with more than 80 team members who are well-versed in the subjects of computer vision, machine learning, and autonomous vehicles, Blue River tackles the world's global food shortage through the implementation of variable rate technology and precision agriculture. According to Ben Chosner, Blue River's Vice President of Business Development, there are three steps in the company system. One, sense and decide. Two, act. And three, verify and learn. This development is precisely what makes Blue River's implementation of VRT so interesting. First, Blue River uses the sense and decide. In the first part of the system, the team develops intelligent models using computer vision and machine learning that are capable of detecting seemingly non-existent or insignificant differences between plants. According to the company, these systems have an unparalleled ability to recognize minute details. This ability is so advanced that it's actually in competition with the human eye. Second, Blue River implements the ACT phase. During this section, robotic nozzles target unwanted weeds in real time as the machine moves over rows of plants. From there, herbicides are applied only to weeds while avoiding chemical applications to crops. According to Mar Margie Echocamp, the Director of Content Development at Farm Journal Media, variable rate technology has the ability to reduce herbicide use by up to 90%. Also, Blue River utilizes VRT by assessing levels of acidity, phosphorus, potassium, and having an agronomist map out recommended fertilizers for each area to minim maximize production. Variable rate technology has the potential to be revolutionary, but it must first be integrated into society. However, we haven't covered the last step in Ver Blue River's process, which is verify and learn stage. In this phase, VRT assesses the applied herbicide, makes adjustments, and learns from its mistakes. This is a really important stage because it is what makes variable rate technology so impactful to agriculture. By utilizing a closed loop cycle, Blue River technology is ensuring its technological efficiency. In contrast to other technologies, VRT has the ability to actually learn from its mistakes, which is something we, can, we are only on the cusp of in recent years. Now that we've covered the last step, the question remains, why exactly has this technology not been integrated into society or agriculture? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not because I've been lying to you this entire time, it's actually quite the opposite. Simply put, this technology hasn't been given the platform to succeed, nor has it been integrated into modern agriculture properly. However, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I've come up with something to help. Similar to the way Blue River applies VRT out in the fields, we need to employ a step-by-step -step process that will adapt to its surroundings in real time. Adopted from Blue River's own processes, 
Here is my own plan I've come up with. First, we must sense and evaluate. <laughs> Similar to the VRT, we need to sense what our current agricultural communities need and then evaluate our findings. For this, I recommend stressing variable rate technology's ability to lessen the cost of farming by reducing the usage of fertilizers and pesticides. Second, we need to act. We need to highlight the impending issue of the growing population and food production needs to increase by 70%. We need to truly show the power that VRT possesses. Our final step is to react and move. We need to react to our agricultural community and its response to variable rate technology. And regardless of the outcome, we need to move forward, both with the technology and with our own course of action. With the processes of Blue River technology in mind, we need to tackle the integration of variable rate technology into society head on. Besides our crescent population, there's one other ever expanding aspect of our world, technology. So my question for you is, why not see how the two compare? Thank you.